My name is Paul Griffin and I'm a guest for the Goodwood Revival and I've brought with me this Cooper Monaco T49 from 1959. So the car um, made by Cooper Cars uh, in Surbiton in Surrey, the derivation of the car was the Grand Prix car from 1958, uh, the two litre engine. The Grand Prix car for 1959 was a 2.5 litre engine, but they widened the chassis to create two seats, which you see there, and an aluminium body to create the sports car, and that's really what it is. So under the skin, it's the 1958 Grand Prix car into the 1959 season, uh, and it's, a, it's just a, it's a wonderful thing. The car was built in April 1959, chassis CM459, and it was bought by Jack Brabham who was a Cooper Works driver at the time. So he raced the Formula One cars, and then he also raced this, his own car, in the sports car races. And it had an extensive career during 1959, and at the uh, beginning of 1960, Jack Brabham sold the car, and it then had an extensive career in the United States through to 1963. So the TT tribute this year is to um, to remember the 1959 Tourist Trophy race here, which was the last round of the World Sports Car Championship. Uh, it was noted for a win by Aston Martin and a fire at the garage, which has been recreated this year. Uh, but this car was one of the grid, uh, and it was raced by Jack Brabham and Bruce McLaren. So both as young racing drivers at the time. It was fitted with wire wheels, which it currently wears, uh, and also with the bigger 2.5 litre engine, which sounded wonderful, except that a stub axle broke and the car didn't finish the race. So uh, that was its story. We bought the car in 2011. It had been in uh, Spain for some time. Uh, a Portuguese called Julio Gargallo, who was a racer, and had had the car but hadn't really done much with it, and came to the uh, view that it was the time to uh, have somebody else own it. So uh, the car had been cared for by a guy called Sid Hull for 35 years. So Sid came with me, easy jet flight to uh, Spain, so that he could look at it and say, yes, this is the real thing, uh, and bought it then and back it came. You can see that the engine is behind the driver. So this mirrors the, uh, this mirrors the Grand Prix cars that Cooper made, which was the significant development up until the late 1950s, cars, Grand Prix cars, sports cars, had the engines in front of the driver. This was the big difference. So here you see an example with a Coventry Climax engine, the two-litre Coventry Climax. It also, if you look here, gives you a chance of seeing that the chassis was very simple, very light, simply the tubes. Here, a leaf spring suspension at the back, which was comparatively antiquated, but that was uh, how it was. The car has been at the Revival with me, I think, three times, uh, and the car's always done really well. I'm not sure the driver's always done so well, um, but it's always done very well. We've been at the members' meeting uh, as well, and then before me, the car was a regular attender, so really right back to 1996 when the Revival began. So um, Goodwood have always been very generous to, to us and to the car. It's in really good form. I must say, it's um, Sid and the, the guys who prepare it, who do a great job, uh, have done quite a lot of work to it. Uh, it hasn't raced since last year, so uh, yesterday it went very well in qualifying. Uh, so for this afternoon, I uh, hope I'm going to do well.